Hey there guys, I'm Zemore the Dad and DPS and back once again with another episode of Legendary Crafting vs the Purveyor. Now I have a feeling this episode is going to be a good one and if you don't know the series, I basically spend 2000 script crafting weapons and 2000 script at the Purveyor. We pretty much see who wins and then I gloat if it's the Purveyor because everybody tells me to stop doing it. But with that, let's get on with the video and see what happens. See if we get anything interesting. Well, that is not interesting. Gourmands, 50 limb damage, VATS action point cost, grenade launcher. Meh. Very meh. Junkie short combat rifle with last shot and stealth field. Not a bad weapon, not particularly the best either, but yeah. Last shot is definitely a decent effect to have on a assault rifle for sure. Vampire short submachine gun. 25 damage while aiming, that's crit builds 15% faster. This weapon, I, I I just can't warm to it if I'm honest, so yeah, good effects, not the best weapon unfortunately. Instigating light machine gun, bashing damage, 90% reduced weight. Scrap! Gourmand Shorter Gatling, 25% faster fire rate, 90% your just weight. This one's actually not bad. Um, obviously Gourmand is not the best effect, but it is definitely a good variation of this weapon. So yeah, that will be getting kept for sure. Come on. Bloodied Pipe Pistol, explosive and damage resistance while reloading. This one's actually good as well. Um, as you guys know, I've warmed up to pipe pistols, so yeah, I'm actually really happy with what I'm getting so far. Come on! Gourmands, damage well aiming, and less advanced action cost. Actually decent as well. Hmm. This has turned out to be a weird day. What have you done? Stalker's crossbow. Action points with each kill, and critical meter 15% faster. Absolute pants. But well, we've had some decent weapons, so I'm not fussing. Who the heck are you? I, I just told you that. Listen, listen. Another vampire's short submachine gun. That's critical to 50 extra damage, and faster reload. Better than... well, mate, is it? I don't know. Eh, it's decent, but it's a submachine gun, so it's not that great. And last but not least on this character... Assassin's Gatling Plasma, bashing damage, and resistance while aiming. Pants! Absolute pants. Well, let's move on to the next one. Alright, second character, let's see if we can get something that is amazing. That is not amazing. Medics, faster fire rate, faster movement speed while aiming. Radium rifle. Bleh. Bleh. Junkies, pipe, bolt action pistol, 25 damage while aiming, and 50 resistance while aiming. Eh, not the best combination of effects, but definitely not the worst weapon we've ever got in this series. Furious Gauss minigun, bashing damage, one eye jelly, uh, eye jelly, eye jelly. Um, it's the best Gauss minigun I've ever got, if that's anything to go by. It's not particularly great, mind you, but it's still the best Gauss minigun I've got. Uh, I really should craft some at some point. Executioner's Compound Bow, Bats Hit Chance, Faster Movement while aiming. This one's actually not bad um, for a Compound Bow, obviously. Might play around with this at some point. Definitely might. Might also not. Junkie's Single Action Revolver. Vats hit chance. Uh, Vats hit chance. Vats crits and 90% reduced weight. Eh. Definitely eh. Next up. Quad single action revolver. 25% faster fire rate. And one agility. That's actually really good. Um, the faster fire rate combined with the quad ammo capacity is just going to make this thing be able to pump out a lot of damage really quickly. And I'm actually quite happy with that. Next up. That's a spicy meatball. Quad. Oh, sweet Jesus, this is something I want. Quad, with bullets explode for area damage. This is just an explosive weapon forever. 
I mean, that bottom bit, eh. But that. No. Oh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I'm very happy. Very, very happy. Yeah. Berserker submachine gun explodes for area damage. Vats crit meter fills 15% faster. Eh. And I've forgotten whether this is the last or the second last, so I'm just going to go for another one after this, either way. Instigating pipe revolver, 25% faster fire rate, one agility. Eh. And last but not least, suppressor short lever action rifle. A terrible note to end what was pretty decent at the purveyor. Eh. Right. Let's see what we can do via crafting. Now, it's been a while since I've crafted melee weapons, so I've decided, you know what? Let's make some gauntlets. See if we get something funky. Let's just spam legendary modules till we get it. Do, 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 do. Probably wasting all these, but we'll see what happens. All right, let's go into the new bar. And the first one is just an Executioner's, so I'm not going to talk about that. Next up, we have a Mutant's Gauntlet with Replenish Action Points for each kill, 90% reduced weight. Not bad. Instigating Gauntlet. Uh, let's see. Damage while standing still and that's Action Point Gauntlet. That's actually not a bad one for one-shotting things. I'm actually moderately okay with that one. Um, next up, we have Mutant Slayer's Gauntlet. Less so. It's a two-star. Reflects the... Juggernaut's Gauntlet, power attack damage, 90% reduced weight, The Aristocrat's Gauntlet. Now this one could be interesting. Yes, 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 yes. This one is pretty much a god roll. I like this one. It's like, just insane damage. It seems like my uh, turrets are killing stuff. Yeah. Let me kill this and I'll be right back. A few moments later. Anywho. That was annoying. Um, Furious Gauntlet. Vat, uh, well, power attack damage and Vat's crit. Then we've got Zealots and Suppressors. Let's not talk about them. Hunters is a one star. Another one star Executioners. Two star Juggernauts. What are you? Vat, uh, replenish action points. Mutants again with critical damage and one agility. Gourmet. Um, I can already see it's reflect melee and one strength. Troubleshooters with faster swing speed, one agility. Junkies with power attack damage and reduced weight. Exterminators with swing speed and reduced weight. Bloodied. With spin speed, that is also pretty much a god roll for that type of weapon for me. I wish it was vampires, mind you. Hunters with reflect and uh, critical meter. Mutant slayers with crits and endurance. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, some decent picks. Some very decent picks. Now, for crafting, I think tonight's top pick has to be the Aristocrats Swing Speed 1 Agility Gauntlet. It tops the Bloodied one because it's Aristocrats, and the 1 Agility uh, really just adds that extra thing. You're getting the same damage bonus from this thing um, as you would Bloodied, so yeah. Definitely, definitely a funky weapon, and I am looking forward to testing it out. Kind of disappointed I didn't get a Vampire um, Gauntlet, but... I can't really say much else other than that. It's one of those things where you just get what you get. Now, honestly, I think this is a pretty funky weapon. The quadruple ammo capacity and bullets explode for air damage basically means I am going to be making things explode forever. This is one of my favourite weapons and a weapon I was actually trying to craft a while back, but never seemed to come out. So yeah, I'm fairly freaking happy with this, and I'm fairly certain I'll be using it in the near future. Now, unfortunately, I feel like this gun and the the 
um, the gauntlet are pretty much of equal value. But the purveyor gave me several weapons that I will definitely be playing around with and several weapons that I would consider to be my god rolls in comparison to the uh, to crafting rather that gave me two. So I'm gonna have to give it to Murg again, especially since I can, you know, scrap all the crap that was excess that she gave me, whereas, you know, crafting, there's a lot of one stars and two stars that showed up. So yeah, Mark's wins. That was today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Now, let's thank our YouTube members before I forget, which are Twice Big Spuds, Goldtail, White Blackburn, Waller is Me, Deal Fing Gaming, Colin G, Garrett Knight, Brian RMC, Pegament Knight, Metal Doom, Metasbo, Dragon God Slayer X, Devilman Games, Marcus Carrasco, and Scott S. A big thanks to all of you. We can't do this without your continued support. And if you'd like to become a member, there is a join link down below. So the purveyor wins yet again. Now, I don't need to gloat. But I will. There's a reason to do it, and you goddamn well know it. I have been saying it for ages. Luck is a big factor, but some people do better at poop here. Some people do better at crafting. I sometimes have luck crafting. I mostly have luck with the purveyor, and I got some awesome guns that I will be testing out in the near future. So yeah, we'll catch you all next time in the wasteland.